somebody in the train, and I got a question. I, I got, no, uh, I've got a question for you. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris. What? If we if we go to heaven and, so, and, and like what let's say like a one for example one of our family members didn't go, how satisfied will we be with something like that? You know what I'm saying? So like we go to heaven and someone we love did not go to heaven. Yeah, how how would we feel? Yeah, but heaven is supposed to be a place where we're we have fully satisfied and, be happy. and fully joyful. So how are we gonna be happy up that? Yeah, question. how? That's a toughie because I don't. I've never I've never been to heaven. Me neither. But uh, we the do know what. I've been to heaven is God Himself. And all the dead Christians. Yes. Yes. Uh, where are we going? Walmart. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and Sonic. And Sonic's 299 Car Hop Classic. Okay. So, um, this is a really good question. And it's also kind of a really sad question. Something that we cannot understand is, is how absolutely fulfilling and, and, and awesomely satisfying Jesus is. We think about heaven, and all we can think about, we, we, we get some descriptions from the Bible about the streets of gold and the crystal sea and the throne room, and all those are like awesome and beyond what we could possibly imagine. But the thing that makes heaven so incredible is Jesus. The presence of Jesus is what makes heaven so incredible. Like, if Jesus wasn't there, heaven would just be another place. I mean, it would be a cool place, an awesome place, a place more beautiful than we have on earth, but just a place. So. 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 Once we fully encounter Jesus Christ and we're just fully immersed and surrounded by his presence, I think that our relational uh, friendships and loved ones that we had on earth, we'll still know them and we'll still, we'll still be aware of them, but I think it's going to be a bit different because everything that we wanted relationally is going to be complete in Jesus Christ. So then, I think there will be a sense of sadness or disappointment when we realize so-and-so's not here. But we'll be able to accept that because of who Christ is. We'll recognize the only reason that I'm here is because of Jesus Christ, his sacrifice. I don't deserve to be here, but his sacrifice on the cross and the grave and his word, not mine, is what got me here. And my loved one, who I wish was here but isn't here, I can accept the fact that they're not here because they didn't choose Jesus Christ. And I don't I don't think we can fully understand that in our minds because our minds are thinking, yeah, but that's the person that I knew on earth that I loved and the person that, you know, maybe a parent or maybe a, 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 a sibling or, or a cousin or a friend or, you know, a, a wife or a husband or something that, that dramatic. But there's going to be, the, those earthly relationships are going to pale in comparison to Jesus Christ. And so we'll just be able to accept it somehow in a way that we can't describe right I have a question. No, you don't. Will there be punishments in uh, heaven? There will be no punishment in heaven. Good. Except for you. That's it. Go to your room. Why? <laughs> <laughs>